Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours with me, Colin, and it's uh, another one for beginners or intermediates. Uh, I've stretched the paper, but this time I'm taking the excess water off with a damp cloth. The hair where that's come from. And I'm going to use a one inch flat brush for this. And what I actually want to do, this is a mixture of cadmium orange and cadmium red, but on the orange side to bring it across. Wet brush, soften the edges out, top parts of the sky, this is a stronger mixture. Once again, wet brush, just encouraging it slightly to move to leave soft edges. This is a mixture of cobalt blue and Prussian blue and it's going to go in the lower parts of the sky. There's a lighter mixture. further up the paper. This is a stronger mixture again. A little bit more Prussian blue added. And I'm just going to pull my brush into the land there. Softening everything in. This is cadmium yellow light and I just want to streak a little bit in some in here and begin to soften down some of the edges just keeping everything fluid so we can move the paint about this is a mixture of uh, cobalt blue, Prussian blue and cadmium red just going to add some of this on the underside of the clouds Let it all merge together. Don't brush once again. <clears throat> Strengthen it up in some areas. Pull it into the picture. softening it in all the time have a quick look just to make sure that you've got everything in the elements that you want just strengthen it up in some areas and then we're going to leave all that to dry <coughs> okay now we're back and it's the paper's still damp but it's okay to work on but it's uh, dried nicely enough to put this on which is this French ultramarine and burnt umber and we're just going to paint in the 
horse and rider we will be lifting some paint out after just to show some of the underwash underneath so paint a horse and rider in you can just see some of the underwash showing through there the orange we'll be bringing that out it's the horn of the saddle or at least I think it's called that and once again just leaving the legs short of where it joins up with the ground just to shape where the stirrups would be in the feet this is Prussian blue and uh, burnt umber I'm just going to use this as the uh, darker mixing areas everything's nice and wet and juicy now I'm going to move to my bigger brush and this is a, a weaker mixture of the uh, burnt umber and French ultramarine and I'm just going to introduce this the uh, land area this is a stronger mix this has the um, Prussian blue and burnt umber just to add some shadows in darkening it along the edge once again just leaving it short of the legs smaller brush and the stronger mixture which is thicker and we can now bring the horse into the land just attaching it <coughs> adding some dark for movement taking a rigger brush can flick up some grasses it just helps to break up that uh, edge you see they're growing in all directions don't have them like soldiers some clean water <clears throat> wet your brush take out the excess and what I want to do now is in take off some paint and hopefully we'll leave the underwash of orange below to show through you can see why you paint across your horses or anything you want to do this helps to give interest wiping it each time you do it so you're not reintroducing color back in softening off the edges I don't think I want to do any more to it than that <coughs> now I just want to put in some reins with the rigger brush
once again just strengthen it up in areas on the land keep adding the paint not everywhere you do want one or two light patches uh, to show through which just helps to show the underwash so I'll take a little bit out here on the hillside and we'll just slowly let this back fill in I think that's all I'm going to do to it. So now we're going to leave this to dry. Okay, the painting's dry sufficiently enough. Now you get to the best bit. This is where you get to sign it. And I've just taken some white wash and I'm just going to sign it here. I hope you've enjoyed this painting video. Uh, if you have, please subscribe or leave a comment. Uh, if you, like I say, if you want to see further videos, subscribe and you'll be notified. Thank you very much for watching.